Hey folks, this is Mike Anti with Sailfish Solar. Uh, this video is as much for our existing clients as it is for anybody else uh, that might stumble across this video out there on the uh, on the interweb. Um, but it's really for anybody who um, you know is interested in what's going on with the minimum bill now with the utility companies in Florida. Uh, and anybody watching this, if you like what you see, please give it a like and uh, please sub consider subscribing for some more content in the future. Um, basically, we'd like to offer an explanation to our current and our pu uh, future perspective clients um, on a recent change that really is no surprise. It's yet another attack uh, on rooftop solar from the utility companies. Um, and it also actually affects anybody who wants to travel uh, or if you're a part-timer in the state of Florida, no matter what now, you're going to have a minimum bill of $25 uh, in FPNL territory and a minimum bill of $30 in Duke territory. Um, so in a nutshell, Florida Power and Light and the other investor-owned utility companies have now raised their minimum bill. Um, one of my clients, or one of our clients uh, used a, a fantastic analogy the other day. He said it's basically like going to the gas station and asking, and you only need $25 worth of gas, and they still charge you $40, and they say that that's the minimum amount of gas that you can actually buy. And so even if you're not using the gas, they're still going to charge you the $45, or the $40, rather, even if you only need $25 worth. Um, and he asked, well, why is that? Why do I have to pay the $40 when I only need $25? And they tell you, well, it's to help pay for the gas station. Meanwhile, this Wall Street company company already got a guaranteed rate of return for paying for the gas station in the first place. And they look at you with a straight face and they charge you that extra money. Um, so, you know, not only does this uh, punish solar customers, but it's basically anyone, you know, who doesn't have uh, that power draw in any given month is still now going to be faced with that charge. But let's take a look real quick at what an actual bill looks like. Um, so we'll go right here. Um, so here you can see this is this is a current bill from a current customer. Uh, the customer did not have energy consumption. This is a solar customer. As you can see, they don't have a power bill any given month. Their old base fee used to be this $9 right here, this base fee of $8.99. But now they've added on $16.01 to bring them to an even $25. Um, again, this is a customer who did not need power. Um, they did not need uh, power from the utility company. They, they were net even on their bill. Not only that, but up here in their bill, as you can see, they produced 946 kilowatt hours and they uh, used 495 of those to, to the offset their power bill at the house and their, their reserve went up by 451. So they have a, an actual excess reserve of 2988 kilowatt hours, and those can be applied towards future bills next month and so on and so forth. Um, but again, with this minimum bill, now no matter what, no matter how much power they produce, they are gonna have $25. So as we um, are designing solar systems in the future, you know, it is important that we um, that we bear this $25 in mind. Typically, if you ever talk to any salespeople from Sailfish Solar, we typically are going to put you at a 95, maybe with a 90% offset. And this just reinforces that that much more. You know, basically the delta between the $9 and the $25 is 118 kilowatt hours is what it takes to pay for that additional $16. Uh, and so, you know, if you have a big solar system, a 30 kilowatt system, it really isn't going to make a difference. But if you're right on the bubble there and you've got kind of got that 11 kilowatt system or 11.4 kilowatt system, it probably is going to make sense to keep you down in that 90 percent range, as opposed to a lot of salesmen are going to try and put you at the 105 percent range. At this point, it really doesn't make sense if you're kind of right there on the bubble. Um, it also reinforces once again, let me stop sharing here. I want to reinforce one important point. This minimum bill, you know, I'm, we're in the, the freedom state, right? This is Florida. It's the freedom state. Uh, and yet we do not have the ability to go off of the grid. We do not have the freedom to just produce our own power here in the freedom state. That's something we really should address. Why is it that the government is forcing us to be connected to the power grid? And then the, the power grid is forcing us to pay a minimum of $25 a month. The, the, the logic just doesn't add up. And, you know, something really needs to change here. Why the state government, why the state of Florida feels the need to force us to pay $25 a month, it just doesn't sound very freedom to me. I don't know about you. Um, you know, comment below and tell me what you think. All right. So um, 
uh, I just wanted to give you an update here. Uh, the $25 is a shame. The good news is I think this is going to be the last attack we see for a while. Um, we don't see any other attacks from the uh, the Wall Street companies in the future. When I say Wall Street companies, you know, to be clear, it's called an IOU, which stands for an investor owned utility. So Florida Power and Light and others are investor owned utilities, which means they're owned by Wall Street companies. And these are the ones that are backing or excuse me, pushing uh, these minimum bills because, of course, they have to protect their profits. And now, you know, with this new change, left we'll $30 million a year in extra money that they uh, that they can draw out of the rate payers. So it is a problem. It's something we're going to fix in the future. This $25 is here to stay. I don't see any more uh, increases coming in the near future or even in the far future for that matter. Uh, but this is something that's here to stay. So comment below if you have any questions and uh, by all means, call us or, or email us anytime. All right. Thanks for stopping by.